Aquarius, what is that bitch or girl cat? We're gonna do your weekly reading right now. I've already shuffled the cards and at the bottom of the deck you have the Ten of Wands. So there could be a lot of, um, a lot on your plate, like a very heavy emotional burden, a lot that you've been carrying around with you for a while. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I lay all the cards out and then I interpret them. So bear with me while I do that. And then if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. That's what's up. I appreciate your support. All right. Let's shuffle our clarifying deck while I take a look at these cards. All right. Hmm, okay. The bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, which is like watching weight energy. All right, so we're starting off your reading with the Two of Cups. This is a very strong partnership. This is like, you guys finish each other's sentences. You know, um, this is like twin flame. This is like marriage. This is, this is very strong connection. And that's clarified by the Two of swords and she's blindfolded here so there's two different choices or two different directions that she could take right but she's blindfolded and she can't tell which way to go at the moment so something about this partnership that you're in has you feeling like you need to make a decision and you're not sure what to do this person could also be at a distance from you seven of wands which is all about sticking up for yourself setting boundaries you know um and that's clarified by the eight of wands which is swift action um i also see it as like text messages direct messages As I said that, instantly I just got a little download that your person is talking to other people behind your back and that you know about it. They're messaging a lot of people. I think that your person is possibly keeping their option open and talking to a lot of different people behind your back. Disappointment, regret, yeah communication there so i feel like there's going to be some kind of truth that you're faced with i think this possibly is the truth that your person is like you know um looking at other options um texting other people messaging other people entertaining other people behind your back basically here's your card feeling stuck okay so when you think about your future right because the star card is like a bright future when you think about your future, you feel stuck. When you think about your future with this person, you feel trapped. You feel like this, this is not it. This is not what I want. I don't want to be chasing after this person. Constantly worried that they're making other plans behind my back or they're like, you know, being deceitful and dishonest with me. Here's Scorpio's card. This is death. This is also big transformations, big changes. And that is clarified by conflict. Flicked. So... I think with the Ace of Swords here, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Wands, I feel like you're going to have a discussion about finding out about these other options or these text messages or, you know, all of this kind of stuff, right? And I feel like you're going to have a conversation that's going to lead to an argument. And I think it's going to possibly lead to the end of this relationship. And I think there's going to be very big transformation coming your way. Then we have the Six of Pentacles, and that is clarified by the Queen of Cups. Okay. So there could potentially be a new love on your way. It could possibly be a water sign with the Queen of Cups here. Cups are our emotions, right? Um, Queen of Cups, a lot of people see her as a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces because we're so emotional, right? So you could possibly have a more equal new relationship with a water sign on the way. 
Eight of Cups walking away from things that don't serve you, and that would be this sneaky mofo. Yeah, yeah, I hate this dude. Yeah, you're walking away from this sneaky person. You just feel like you don't want to deal with the deceit and the fuckery behind your back, and you're just going to turn your back and walk away. Two of Pentacles, that's either very busy or options. And I think that you're going to see that your person has been juggling options and you're going to opt for a new path, a new journey, a new beginning. You're going to say, you know what? This isn't for me. This isn't really what I was looking for. Manifesting. Mm. So, yeah, I think this person is going to break your heart or broke your heart, you know, or the news about them, like, you know, being in other people's messages and things like that. It's heartbreaking. And you're going to manifest getting past that moving on. But you're going to need a break clarified by the queen of wands so you are very sexy and sought after you got a lot of attention you possibly have a lot of options as well here you know um this she ain't no old maid baby she gets a lot of attention but i feel like you need a break first you just want a time out you want to recover a little bit from everything you've just been through before you pursue new opportunities but i do think that you do have possibly a water sign who's going to be a really good match for you coming your way why do we have the sneaky mofo again? Clarified by the lovers. Okay. So this person that betrayed you, I mean, you saw them as potentially a soulmate. Like you felt very close to them. Yeah. So you got the, the two of cups and the lovers. This is the person that you really thought was your soulmate. And, you know, they've just been deceitful behind your back. Queen of Swords. Clarified by the Magician. So the Queen of Swords doesn't fuck around, man. She'll cut your ass off. She don't play. You know, the Queen of Swords is very, like, off with their heads. She don't play. I mean, like, you gave this person a chance. You gave this person an opportunity. I have a feeling this isn't the first time you've been through this rodeo with them. And here they are again. So I feel like you're cutting this off you know you got the magician twice here once with heartbreak and once with the queen of swords so i feel like you're cutting out this heartbreak you're cutting out this person who breaks your heart and hurts you putting in the work working towards something and here's the tower okay so i feel like you feel very frustrated because you did see this person as a soulmate and a divine partner and you were working towards something with them and you just feel very let down and betrayed by them. Um, but I do see, watch and wait on the bottom of the clarifying deck, I do see that you do have a new love coming towards you and that's going to be more secure and stable for you and a better match for you. But I do think that you just want to take some time out and uh, the watch and wait energy on the bottom of the deck there. Yeah, so I feel like after you regroup and um, just kind of recover from this a little bit, you have something much better on the way. Um, yeah. So I feel like let's do... Romance Angel Oracles. Yeah, I feel like this person is just like a shameless flirt or they're just very like promiscuous or just, just kind of emotionally immature, need a lot of attention, you know. They're very susceptible to flattery. So they're... they're in their messages all the time, you know, with other people. I mean, you're just not feeling that. That's not for you. All right. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. Yes. So I do feel like you do need to love yourself first. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Uh-oh. 
healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. All right. So, looks like they're going to try to get back together with you. You need to heal your, forgive your parents for something. Oh. <laughs> and you need to love yourself first. All right. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that makes sense. Um, but it does look like you have something much more stable coming your way after a period of just kind of recovering from this deceit and betrayal. All right, guys. Well, that's what I have for you. So until next time. Oh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that button. Come on, join the Scarpa Cat family. The more the merrier. And um, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you hit the bell shape and you'll get a notification. All right. That's what I have for you for this week. So... Take care, Aquarius. Bye.